So, let us do some more problems on uh, central forces and the first problem is here. A particle is subjected to a central force F r, r cap. This is the definition of uh, central force. Define u equal to 1 by r and find the differential equation of the path of the particle in terms of u and its derivative. So, we had uh, obtained path of the particle especially for the attractive inverse square force and that was r as a function of theta. So, when you give the relation between the coordinates you get the path. Here you are asked to work not in r, but in u which is 1 by r and then find the differential equation of the path. Means u as a function of theta will give me the path, but uh, what we need here is differential equation uh, in terms of u du d theta d 2 u d theta square and so on. So, let us start with it. We know that the radial acceleration is a r which is r double dot and minus r theta dot square that is this and this is the force divided by mass force is equal to mass into acceleration it is a central force. So, the entire force is uh, is in the radial direction and therefore, radial acceleration is just uh, force divided by mass. Now, we start from here what is this r double dot what is this theta dot and so on and you know that for central motion a constant of motion is angular momentum which is mass and then uh, of course, the mass of the particle is m. So, m r square theta dot and uh, from here you can write what is theta dot theta dot is L by m r square and that is L by m u square in the numerator because 1 by r is u. So, this theta dot we will write from here r double dot. Okay. So, r is equal to 1 by u. So, r dot dr dt r dot will be minus 1 by u square that is differentiation with respect to u and then uh, du d theta because u is a function of theta. So, du d theta and then differentiation of theta with respect to time ultimately this is dr dt. So, you have to differentiate in terms of time with respect to time. So, it is this and then theta dot and that you can write minus 1 by u square du d theta and theta dot is L u square by m. So, L u square by m and this u square cancels with this u square and you have minus L by m du d theta. So, that is the advantage of working in u, you get uh, simpler things, things like this cancel out and so on, it will be clear further and then r double dot, we need r double dot. So, r double dot means we have to differentiate this thing with respect to time and that will be minus L by m d 2 u d theta square and then theta dot differentiation with respect to theta and then differentiation of theta with respect to time that gives me the time derivative of this r dot which is r double dot. So, let us put these things in this equation here. So, r double dot r double dot is minus L by m d 2 u d theta square and then theta dot. In, in fact, I can write this theta dot from here itself. This is equal to minus L by m d 2 u d theta square and theta dot is L u square. So, this is L here, u square here and divided by m. So, m here and that same thing comes here L 
u square by m. This is what? This is what I am writing this equation a r r double dot only this part is here r double dot is minus l by m d 2 u d theta square l u square by m. Then minus r this r this r is 1 by u and then theta dot square theta dot square is l square u 4. So, l square u 4 and divided by m square m square and that is equal to force this function r function of r f at r this is the force we will write it as uh, f of u this will be f in terms of u divided by mass ok. Now, this functional form is somewhat different if you write in terms of r if you write in terms of u for example, if f r is 1 by r square then f u that I am writing there is r is uh, is u square. So, I am writing this r as 1 by u and it becomes u square. So, in principle in principle this is a different function and this is a different function this is a square and this is 1 by square. So, in principle I should have written some other symbol here, but I will continue with this and you understand what I mean this functional form which is given in terms of r. So, that has to be just converted into u and that I will be writing there ok. So, let us see what it is. So, you have uh, this u and here fourth power becomes third power and this thing I want to separate out. So, first let me do some uh, simplification this is d 2 u d theta square and let me put plus sign here plus sign here and minus sign here ok. Then it is l square l square so l square and then I have u square so u square divided by m square so m square here plus l square and divided by m square here and u to the power 3. So, u to the power 3 and this is minus f u divided by m. So, divide by this quantity divide by this quantity and this quantity is common here and here except for this u here here you have u square here you have u cube. So, if I take that as common l square u square by m square and then bracket d 2 u d theta square and plus u from here and that is equal to minus f of u divided by and take this quantity on the right hand side. So, you have d 2 u d theta square plus u is equal to is equal to this quantity goes to the right hand side m square divided by uh, in fact, 1 m I can cancel out from here itself this power m square. So, it is just 1 m. I can write 1 m here and then uh, divided by l square u square. So, l square and u square and that is it f u and this minus sign here ok. So, d 2 u d theta square plus u is equal to minus of f u. So, minus of f u multiplied by m divided by l square u square. So, this is this is the differential equation this is that differential equation which we are looking for this uh, functional form of force whatever is given is here l is a constant of motion for that entire path entire motion. So, it is here mass of the particle is known and then you have u, you have u square, you have derivative of u. So, this is that differential equation. 
if you think of that inverse square attractive force that we had been talking then uh, this uh, f of r is minus k by r square and therefore f of u i will be writing minus k u square and if you put it there your equation will be d 2 u d theta square plus u equal to in place of this f u you write minus k u square. So, what happens this minus and this minus will become plus and then you have to write k u square. So, u square will cancel k will be there. So, it will be m k by l square it will be m k by l square and if you define u prime is equal to u minus m k by l square if you define another quantity u prime this is just a constant because angular momentum is constant in the entire motion. So, it is u minus m k by l square. So, d 2 u prime and d theta square is equal to d 2 u d theta square and then this equation is d 2 u prime d theta square and plus u prime equal to 0 and this equation is very well known to you simple harmonic motion you do this similar kind of thing d 2 x d x d 2 x d t square and plus omega square times uh, x is equal to 0 that is the simple harmonic motion equation. So, you know the solution and you can write the solution as u prime is equal to some constant a cos omega t omega is 1 here. So, it will be and not t here theta here. So, cos of theta and minus some theta naught two arbitrary constant this and this. Okay, you can choose theta equal to 0 in such a way you can choose the x axis in such a way that this theta naught turns out to be pi and then you will have u prime is equal to a cos theta with a minus sign and therefore, u will be u will be what is u? u prime plus this. So, u prime plus that. So, m k divided by l square and plus u prime and this will be cos a a plus a cos theta or minus a cos theta we will just check minus a cos theta right. u is equal to u prime plus m k by l square. So, m k by l square is here plus u right plus this uh, u prime u is equal to this plus u prime and what is u prime? u prime is minus a cos theta. So, it is minus a cos theta and if you take common you, if you take common you can write this as m k over l square and 1 minus e cos theta where e is another constant this is just just a constant which is coming in this uh, integration. So, this is another constant in terms of this and uh, other quantities and this is 1 by r and this is 1 by r therefore, r is l square by m k divided by 1 minus e cos theta that is what we had told that by integrations of that r dot theta dot all those things we can get this uh, equation of uh, path. So, you can get it so easily from this equation. So, this is another question a particle is subjected to a force f r is equal to minus k by r square this is the usual inverse square attractive force, but then there is another term minus delta over r cube with the second term being very small as compared to the first term. So, this is a small perturbation in this inverse square attractive force show that the path of the particle is like an ellipse under proper initial conditions that means the energy should be negative and all that that processes slowly at a constant rate. So, that is the question. So, our uh, equation of orbit in terms of u we had just derived d 2 u d theta square 
plus u is equal to minus m over l square u square f u. Use this. Use this here. So, this will be equal to minus m over l square u square and then f of u. f of u will be minus k u square. So, minus k u square and then minus delta u cube. This is f u. This you can simplify. This will be m k by l square. So, this will be m k by l square here and this will be plus delta by l square and u here. This delta then u square and u cube gives you u and then l square here minus minus is plus. Take this on the left hand side. So, you have d 2 u d theta square and then plus u and then you have 1 from here and minus minus delta by l square here and I have missed m here. So, m here this and is equal to m k over l square. So, if you open this you will have m times delta m times delta and then uh, u and divide by l square and u taking common this is 1 here and minus m delta by l square here and this quantity is here. And remember this is a small number this is a small number. So, write 1 minus m delta over l square is equal to omega square. Define a new constant omega which is 1 minus m delta by l square. Since delta is very small close to 0, this quantity is close to 1, omega is close to 1. If delta is 0, then it is just 1. And then this equation is d 2 u d theta square plus this is omega square and theta and is equal to m k by l square. This is this is u. Or d 2 u d theta square plus omega square u and minus m k by l square is equal to 0. Let us call this quantity, let us call this quantity omega square u. So, let us call this quantity omega square u minus m k over l square as omega square u prime. So, what I am defining is u prime is equal to u minus m k over omega square l square. So, in that case d 2 u d theta square it is same as d 2 u prime d theta square this is just a constant and this bracket here is just omega square u prime. So, my equation becomes d 2 u prime d theta square and plus plus this whole bracket and that whole bracket is omega square u prime and is equal to 0. And this is again your very familiar equation that simple harmonic motion equation d 2 x d t square plus omega square x equal to 0 and you know the solution is x is equal to some a cos omega t like that. Similarly, here you will have u prime is equal to some constant then cos of omega times theta there it is omega t here it is omega theta. So, omega theta and uh, omega theta minus theta naught or theta plus theta naught like this. So, these are the two constants of integrations from here and by properly choosing theta equal to 0 that means properly choosing the x axis 
you can make uh, this quantity whatever you like and I will be doing it like a minus a cos omega theta. So, that is u prime and what is u prime? u prime is this I want to write u. So, u is equal to this quantity plus u prime and this quantity is m k over omega square l square and plus u prime. So, it is minus a cos omega theta and this is 1 by r remember. This is m k over omega square l square take this common. So, here it is 1 and then minus hmm, omega square l square divided by m k here and this a here and then cos of omega theta. Okay, this is another constant. A is arbitrary constant, depends on the initial condition, what is the energy and what is angular momentum, etcetera, etcetera. So, this whole thing is a constant depending on how you have started the motion and we write it as small e. So, this is m k over omega square l square 1 minus e cos omega theta and this is u. So, r will be inverse of this omega square l square by m k and then in the denominator in the denominator 1 minus e cos omega theta right. So, you can write this as omega square l square over m k and divided by 1 minus e cos omega theta or r naught. You can call this whole constant, this is constant omega here that we had defined and our omega is uh, defined here and that is a constant mass delta L square. So, this omega square is constant, L square is constant, m is constant, k is constant, this whole quantity is r naught divided by 1 minus e cos omega theta. This is the equation of the path under this uh, slightly perturbed inverse square attractive force. Now, how it looks like and remember omega is very close to 1 omega is very close to 1 we had defined omega here if delta is very small if delta is 0 omega is just 1. So, here if delta is 0 if delta is 0 what happens uh, what happens if delta is 0 omega is 1. So, it is 1 here it is 1 here it is 1 here and you get back the original equation r not divided by 1 minus e cos theta, but now omega has a value which is slightly different from 1. So, what is the effect on the shape of this path? So, let us see what is the maximum separation of this particle from the origin and that maximum separation will be again r naught divided by 1 minus e and that is when this quantity is 1. So, r is maximum r is maximum and that is r naught divided by 1 minus e and that is when that is when cos omega theta is 1 and what are those values of theta. So, omega theta can be let us say 0 can start from here then uh, it can be 2 pi then it can be 4 pi then it can be 6 pi and so on. At these values of theta you have cos omega theta equal to 1 and then r is this. Similarly, r minimum you can calculate r minimum is r naught divided by 1 plus e and when uh, this uh, cos of omega theta is minus 1 then this is r min and cos omega theta minus v 1 means omega theta should be pi or 3 pi or 5 pi and so on. What happens to theta? Let us start for this equation. Theta is equal to 0. 
next theta is 2 pi by omega next 4 pi by omega next 6 pi by omega next 8 pi by omega and omega omega I have just erased that omega is slightly less than 1 right omega you see the expression of that omega square that we have defined we have defined it is slightly less than 1. So, this quantity is slightly more than 2 pi. So, this quantity is slightly more than 2 pi and wherever at whatever theta this becomes maximum once again you go slightly more than 2 pi you will get this next maximum. It is a, a kind of ellipse remember it is kind of ellipse omega is very close to 1, but then, but then if your ellipse is started like this, this is the maximum distance let us say this is the maximum distance of the particle and then it goes, 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 goes normally it should have come back here to become maximum, but now it is becoming maximum here. So, it, this uh, measure axis similarly this uh, minimum this minimum is not at pi theta pi this minimum is uh, at pi divided by omega slightly more. So, minimum is not here minimum is here. So, this measure axis has tilted and uh, the, your path will be something of this kind here it is turning. So, this is that shift. So, this is r max and next r max is coming here very exaggerated figure once again r max is here okay and next time when it comes and r min is somewhere here and next time when it comes the the maximum will be the maximum will be somewhere here so see this was the major axis then uh, this is the major axis and then uh, this is the major axis so, the major axis is turning. So, the whole ellipse is turning that is the precision. So, if the inverse square force is slightly disturbed and that slight disturbance is of 1 by r cube type then the path will be a precising ellipse. In fact, it is related to the very famous observation of precision of orbit of mercury around sun which uh, which was the first test of general theory of relativity from Newtonian mechanics we can do all this analysis we can find the effect of other planets which are there which is uh, perturbing that inverse square attractive force uh, due to sun only. So, that precision is explained by this Newtonian theory, but the amount of precision and is very very small it is only depending on which which frame you are talking it is only a few hundred uh, arc seconds in one century hundred years and Newtonian mechanics taking care of other planets and other disturbances can account of most of it. But some 43 arc second was not explained by this and that is very well explained by general theory of relativity of Einstein which is a, a modification or which is a totally different theory of gravitation.